They like me, they like me not. They like me. If you clicked on this video, chances are you're secretly harboring romantic feelings for someone who is quite reserved. And you want to know if your feelings are mutual. The challenge becomes tougher when your crush has a shy personality, as they can be a little hard to read. So we're here to help you look for the signs that a shy someone likes you. Number one, they become silent and fidgety around you. When someone is shy, they may not have enough confidence in themselves to flirt with the person they like. When their crush comes around, it's like everything becomes tense and stressful. They think too much about the right thing to say or do. This makes them nervous, so they fidget, tug at their hair, twist their shirt, or play with their fingers. So watch out for the sudden change. You're causing tension for some reason. Maybe it's a good one. Number two, they create opportunities to be around you. They're not going to be in your face asking you out. They're shy, so they'll try to be where you are by amazing coincidence. Well, far more frequently than actual coincidence. This is especially notable if you see them somewhere you know isn't one of their usual hangouts. This means they're taking a huge step out of their comfort zone just to be around you. But what if you're already friends? If you suggest something new, they'll see it as another chance to spend time with you and probably won't pass it up. And even if the new thing seems strange to them, they'll still try just to be in your company. Number three, they talk to you online. People who are shy need a shield. And for many, that shield is being online. Face-to-face -face interactions can feel stressful because they have to get it right the first time. But online, there's a backspace, delete, and the option to not use the camera. If they make a mistake, they have a way out. Since typed words don't convey emotions as accurately as spoken ones, they can explain themselves. In other words, they have some time to think and give a satisfactory response. This makes them feel more at ease and lets them be more real with you. Number four, they seem to be imitating you. Not like that annoying younger sibling thing. You move around in your seat and they do the same. And if you rest your chin on your hand, they'll do the same. This is actually called behavior mirroring and is believed to help establish a connection through the like equals like concept. Number five, they struggle to maintain eye contact with you. As soon as they look at you, their eyes immediately move to another place. They might look at your hand or over your shoulder, but never directly at you. They might look back at you for a split second once in a while. It is easy to overlook. They want to look at you, but it makes their insides go all wibbly wobbly because of their intense feelings for you, making them extra nervous. So for the sake of not giving themselves an anxiety attack, they just have to look away from your brilliance. Number six, they notice everything about you, even your social media posts. Look out for the person who likes almost all your posts and comments on them. Maybe they may even say something like, the sunset picture you took this time is clearer than the other three from the same spot to show that they've been paying close attention. In fact, they will see a lot of changes in you, even in significant ones. Say you wanted to wear a different watch. They might ask what happened to the other one, or they might comment on how short you had to file one nail because it broke the other day. People don't tend to be that attentive unless they like you or they're being paid. And being paid to do so is not the most likely scenario here. Number seven, they surprise you with small gestures. This is because they notice everything about you. You may mention your favorite book or author. And a little while later, you may find them reading one of those favorites. You may recommend some new music and suddenly their playlist is filled with all your recommendations. They're showing you that they value your likes and opinions. They're paying attention and trying to connect. To avoid the possibility of being rejected, your crush is doing what they can and in their own way to tell them, I like you. So take note, acknowledge them. And if you feel the same way, don't leave them hanging. Which of these signs have you noticed before or now? Does this shed some light on past events? If you're a shy person yourself, have you noticed yourself doing any of these things? Please comment, share, and discuss. We will boldly ask you to tap that like button. You don't have to be shy about it. Thanks for watching, we'll see you soon.